everyone, this is Wei Yu from Pen Daily, keen on tech and gadgets, we've got you covered. Today, we are checking out the Oppo Find and Foldable Smartphone. We've already talked about most of its features as well as its user experience, so if you haven't watched that video yet, click right here. Now we're going to be taking a deep dive into the camera system of the Find N. Before looking into image quality and doing some photo comparisons, I'd like to talk a little bit more about how this phone differs from other models in terms of taking pictures. It all comes down to the folding capabilities. So in comparison to normal smartphone cameras, the Finance Camera UI looks a lot cleaner when using the inside screen by moving all the options to the side and leaving a clear image in the middle for you to compose your shot. What's more is that if you fold the phone at an angle, the inside screen splits into two separate displays with one showing your recent photos and the other one showing a normal camera UI. It can be quite useful if you import some reference shot into your phone and use those photos on the left side as guidance when taking pictures. In addition, if you rotate the inside display by 90 degrees, you, it will move all the control options downwards, giving you a clear image at the top. This means that your phone can basically be used as a mini tripod capable of standing on its own. You can even tilt it up or down a little to compose your shot, which can be quite useful. However, one thing to note here is that the tripod mode is using your cover display at the base, so make sure you don't put it on any rough surfaces. Now let's talk about the finance imaging capabilities. It has a triple camera module at the back, a 50 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization a 60 megapixel ultra wide camera with a fixed focus distance, as well as a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. On the front, we also have a 32 megapixel selfie camera, so let's see how the main camera does in comparison to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's start with some indoor shots. On the left, we have the 13 Pro Max main camera. On the right, we have Finance main camera, as we can see, on the one hand, the 13 Pro Max seems to do better in terms of white balance, which creates more accurate colors that make the photo look closer to how our eyes see the real world. On the other hand, when we zoom in and see all the details, the Find N wins the category for sure, thanks to its 50 megapixel main camera. Okay, let's move on to some outside shots. This time, both phones produce very similar results. Without zooming in, can you guess which is which? This time, we have 13 Pro Max on the right and the Find N on the left. Did you guess correctly? Tell us in the comment section down below. From this test group, we can see both phones produce decent photos in this type of outside environment. Finally, let's check out some dark indoor shots with both phones' night mode turnout. Speaking of sharpness again, both phones produce images that are very close to each other. However, in terms of color renditions, the 13 Pro Max beats the Find N, since the colors just look more accurate and appealing. In conclusion, the camera system on the Find N is pretty impressive and it can handle exterior daytime shots extremely well. However, if the environment doesn't have ample light or has artificial lighting, the Find N might struggle a little bit in color renditions. But this might soon change with the launch of Oppo's own imaging MPU, the Mary Silicon X, which we might see in the next generation of Finance series. Okay, that's all that we have for you today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so. And if you want to know more about China's technology and business, see you next time. Bye.